Hello, I'm Daxton Brown, author of Harry, Money, Mob, and Influence in Harry Reid's Nevada. This book is the only biography of former Senator Reid in existence, covering Reid's 45 years of racketeering, bribes, and shakedowns. If that sounds hyperbolic, the amount of evidence is overwhelming. Considering the former senator's deep influence on current American political history, this lack of outside biographical coverage suggests just how feared and dangerous he was and continues to be. There is an information vacuum maintained around Harry Reid, enforced by fear. The massive systemic corruption is not just historical, it continues. This video presentation condenses the events I've described in the book Harry to provide a general understanding of the layers of bribery and influence peddling, but much is left on the cutting room floor. Detailed corroboration is presented in my book. Historically, Reid has been able to slough off accusations of corruption as crazy vendettas by partisan right-wing enemies. However, we now have multiple instances of mafia-connected friends, numerous bribes, and some notable convictions that make believing Harry Reid is an innocent victim impossible. It isn't even close. The evidence is easiest to visualize by a social connection map. It shows the connections and players involved in everything from mafia shakedowns, topless bar bribes, a kidnapping, gambling, loan sharking, campaign finance scams, and other vices. This map connects people and events in a, into a spider's web of corruption. Your image of Reid will expand from seeing him as a cookie cutter, dubious politician, to minor mafia's puppet, to show a vast panorama of racketeering. The Harry Reid corruption map is too dense to cover in detail in this condensed documentary, but it visually points to the mysterious intersection of criminal events which converge on key persons Reid holds to close. In Harry Reid's power universe, the most critical are his lawyer friends, best friend and business partner Jay Brown, mob lawyer come Las Vegas mayor Oscar Goodman, Sleaze lawyer Dominic Gentile, John Podesta, advisor to Bill and Hillary Clinton as well as to Barack Obama. Besides mob lawyers, Reid obviously also holds his family close, which is especially important because four of his sons and a son-in-law are also lawyers with big money influence who have directly benefited from their father's influence. Rory, who ran for governor, Josh, Leaf, Key, and son-in-law Steve Berenger, married to Reid's daughter, Lana. This army of lawyer friends, by profession and blood is notable for the number of low-life mafia mobsters it has represented and for the fat government contracts it has controlled. Also notable is Reed's connections through surrogates and friends to the porn industry. A Tony Soprano's like mafia story wouldn't be complete without topless bars like the Bada Bing Club Tony Soprano frequented in the TV series. In our case, we have at least a half dozen real porn joints. The Mustang Ranch Brothel. Crazy Horse 2 Tapas Club, both in Las Vegas and Chicago, Cheetahs, the Palomino Club, Circus Maximus, the Mafia Gay Porn Clubs run by the New York Genovese. Last but not least, we will cover the operation of Senator Reed's political aides and lobbyist friends, who have been critical to setting up energy, high-speed rail, online gambling, and vote fraud in abetting major league bribery. Reed's new power focus is his Senate Majority Pact, which spent $96 million in the 2016 election and is backed by billionaires worth $93 billion. There will be those who believe this documentary is a political assassination hit done for publicity. However, the number of bribes Reed has already been involved in is legion. They include Joe Conforti. Reed's campaign manager from 1965 to 1975, Don Williams, has been tested by lie detector that he picked up bags of cash for Reed from notorious mafia-connected Mustang Ranch brothel owner Joe Conforti. Joe Augusto, Kansas City Mafia key man at the Hot Tropicana Hotel scam accused Reed of giving him $30,000 in bribes. Tropicana skimming. The FBI and Justice Department investigated collusion between gaming commissioner Harry Reed and long-term friend Jay Brown, who represented the Tropicana during Kansas City mob infiltration. Mob Brown's mob nickname was Old Brown Package. $1 million Brown to Reed land deal investigated by the Washington Post, which led to ethics investigation. Jack Abramoff and the Indian gaming skim. Harvey Whittemore, a prominent lawyer and former lobbyist in Nevada, made unlawful campaign contributions to Reed's Senate Campaign Committee in 2007 and caused a, f causing a false statement to be made to the Federal Election Commission, FEC. Jim Rhodes, FEC violations and bundling for his employees uh, through for Reed. 
Dario Herrera's FEC violations in bundling for Reed. Herrera was a Reed protege convicted for taking bribes from Tapos club owner Mike Gallardi in the G-Sting scandal. Loans for City Center Casino Project to benefit longtime friend Kirk Kerkorian in Dubai World. Desert Express. Reed changed his backing of high speed, speed rail to Los Angeles to benefit his friend, Sig Rogic. SLS Casino. The Department of Homeland Security's Inspector General's report was released in March 2015 revealed Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid's abuse of political office in 2012 and 2013 as Reid forced the Department of Homeland Security to benefit his political allies and family. Senator Menendez funneled $600,000 through Reid's Senate Majority Pact to cover up crooked donor Solomon Melgen's Medicare fraud. Alternative Energy grant and contract funneling through John Podesta and their joint clean energy project. This included payoffs to Fulcrum Biofuels, Jewel Unlimited, Nevada Geothermal Power, Nevada Energy, Amonex, Ormat, and others. In short, this documentary is not about whether Harry Reid is corrupt. That history already exists. Instead, we are documenting how large and how far-flung Reid's criminality involving bribes and insider deals extends. More importantly, will be the question, why did the FBI, Department of Justice, politicians, and the media look the other way? Hang on to your hats. It will be a bumpy ride.